I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to another exciting video. This time we will see how do we simplify a rational expression. Factoring such trinomials which are involved here is kind of difficult. We will see the strategy to factor them. You can always join my classes by sending an email on the address given. Let us now enjoy the journey of learning which will lead to success. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we will discuss how do we simplify rational expressions. I have taken a test question as an example. I hope it will help you to understand the basic concepts. In case you want to learn from me, you can send an email on the address given. The question is before you. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. You need to simplify the expression and write restrictions also. So do not forget to write restrictions. The question here is y equals 2. 7x squared minus 66x plus 80 divided by 49x squared plus 7x minus 72. The whole fraction is divided by 7x squared plus 39x minus 70 over 21x squared plus 27x. You can now pause the video and answer this particular question. Now let's look into the solution. What you really need to do is factor each term. It is better to factor them separately. Now, in this example, you have trinomials which are not easy to factor. Let us see. We have 7x squared minus 66x plus 80, right? Now, how will you factor this? We need product of two numbers. Whose product should be 7 times 80, right? So that is what we need as product of two numbers. And their sum, P plus Q, should be equal to minus 66. Now, since the product is positive, both the numbers should be negative, since we need sum of minus 66. How could you get that? Well, here is a neat method of doing it. You can actually split it into factors. 80 could be written as 8 times 10. And now do you see this combination? 7 and 8. When you multiply, you get 56. And then 10 gives you 66. Right. So we get our two magic numbers, which are minus 56 and minus 10. When you add them, you get minus 66. You get the idea. Right. And therefore, I could write this expression as what? Well, I'm going to write this as 7x squared minus 56x minus 10x plus 80. And now we can combine the two two terms. The first two, 7x is common. So we get x minus 7 goes 8 times. And the next, 10 is common. So we get x minus 8. And now we can factor this as x minus 8 times 7x minus 10. You get the idea. So with that, we have factored the numerator. Right? So let me highlight this numerator. So this portion has been factored and the factor for this is right there. Is that clear to you? Now let's take the denominator which is 49x squared plus 7x minus 72. Now, to factor, we are looking for two numbers whose product is 49 times 72 and that to negative, right? And we are looking for sum of 7. We are looking for sum of 7. So, what could be these numbers? That is what you have to figure out. 
Well, let's go for more factors. 7 times 7 is 49. And we have 9 times uh, 7. 9 times 8 is 72. Right? 9 times 8 is 72. So, we get these factors to work with. If I need positive 7 as the sum, bigger number should be positive, right? So, here we get, if I take this, 7 times 9 is 63, we're left with 56. And their difference is indeed 7, right? So, we could take the numbers as 63x and we could split this, right? And 56 x, right? So, combine these two. So, that is the magic number. You see that idea, right? And now, we could actually continue and factor this trinomial also. So, we get 49x squared plus 63x minus 56x minus 72. Now, in the first two terms, 7x is common. So, we get 7x, 7 times 9. So, we get plus 9 minus 8 is common, right? So, 8 times 7, x plus 9. Now, we have 7x plus 9 as the common factor, and we get 7x minus 8 as the other factor, clear? So, we have factored the denominator also. Is that clear to you? Now, let's look into the other term. Perfect. So, so we have these factors Let's look into the other term now. So, let me just circle this portion, which we just factored, and that is right here, correct? Now, let's look into the factors of the numerator of the second term. So, let me take you to the new page, and then we will do it. So, this time, we have 7x squared plus 39x minus 70. You're looking for product of 7 and 70, right? So, so we are looking for product of 7 and 70, but that should be negative. But sum of 39, sum of 39, how could you get that? Well, 7 times 10 is 70, and then if I combine these two terms, we get 49, right? And then 10, it makes sense, right? So, we could have 49x, minus 10x, right, for 39. You get the idea. So, we write this as 7x squared plus 49x minus 10x minus 70. Now, we can take 7x common and we get x plus 7. And here, we can take minus 10 common to get x plus 7. And therefore, I could write x plus 7 as a common factor, and we get 7x minus 10. You get the idea. So, when there are bigger terms, we may have to look into more factors and get to the right combination. That is critical. Now, let's look into the denominator of this, which is 21x squared plus 27x. Well, as far as numbers are concerned, 7 and then x variable. 7 times 3x, and 7 goes, uh, this is, uh, actually there is a typing error here. So, uh, we can take 3x comma, wait, 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 3x comma. So, 3 goes 7 times, right, that makes sense, and 3 goes 9 times. That makes sense. So, we get 3x times 7x plus 9. So, we have factored the denominator also. Perfect. So, we have factored each and every part. Now, with that, what we will do is we will write the whole expression in the form of factors. Correct? So, let's go to a new page and write down the whole expression as the factors. So, the first one right on the top is what? So, we could write y equals to 7x squared minus 66x plus 80. We factored it right there. And that is equals to x minus 8 times 7x minus 10, right? So, 
So that becomes the numerator and the denominator was 7x plus 9 and 7x minus 8. divided by the factor of 7x square plus 39x minus 70 was x plus 7 times 7x minus 10. And the denominator we factored was 3x times 7x plus 9. So that becomes the factored form. Now from the factored form, you can write down all the restrictions. Remember that division, when you multiply, it flips. So we can also write this as x minus 8 times 7x minus 10 over 7x plus 9 times 7x minus 8 times 3x times 7x plus 9 over x plus 7 times 7x minus 10, right? Now, before cancelling, it is a good idea to write all the restrictions. So let, let me write down the restrictions, right? So, what are the restrictions? So, x is not equal to what? So, look at these denominators first. So, x is not equal to minus 9 over 7, 8 over 7. Now, here 0, right? Then we have minus 9 over 7. And now, look into the numerator part, which becomes the denominator here. So, it is minus 7 and that is 10 over 7, right? So, these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 restrictions based on all these factors. Is that clear to you? Which you have to mention very clearly. And now, we will cancel the terms to simplify. So, we have some common terms. We have some common terms, 7x minus 10, which gets cancelled, right? 7x plus 9 gets cancelled. And the other terms remain and therefore we could write this expression as 3x times x minus 8 divided by 7x minus 8 times x plus 7 and write down x is not equal to all these right so we have minus 9 over 7 8 over 7 0 minus 7 and 10 over 7 you see that all the restrictions should be listed. It is normally better to write them in order, right? However, if you mention them all in this fashion also, it is okay. You get the idea. So, that is how you can actually simplify such an expression. Now, challenge part here definitely was to factor each term. Specifically, when we have a trinomial with big numbers, now you understand how we could use the coefficients to find the magic combination of P and Q so that we get the right product and some combination. So, have a good look at it and then you can do similar questions, right? So, here is the factored form which we finally did. I would like you to confirm that these are the right factors, try factoring, right? Try yourself similar examples and see if this strategy works. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Thanks for your time and all the best.